So in this video, I have decided to paint a hummingbird with some flowers. So for this um, painting, I'm just going to be using some um, Arches Hot Press. This is a seven by 10 watercolor block. And I'm also going to be using um, some gouache. So I have a palette, which is a great palette for gouache. Um, this little palette is like a resealable palette and I'll leave the link in the description if you were interested in purchasing this palette. But this palette is really good at um, keeping the paints um, so they don't dry out. Because with gouache, it's kind of like painting with acrylic or oil paint where you don't want to let the gouache paint dry out because it's harder to paint when the paint is dry. You can use gouache when it's dry, but it's easier to use the gouache when it's still wet. So this palette keeps your paints so they don't dry out. And also, um, you know, I've had tubes of Windsor Newton gouache and over a period of six months, the, the tubes dried out. So um, for some reason, gouache dries out fast. So if you leave them in the tubes, some chances are they may dry out over a long period of time. So I decided to get this little palette. Um, so yeah, I really like this palette and it really keeps the paints dry. So what I do before I start painting, I spray the paints with a little bit of water and I have just a small spray bottle and I spray the paints before I get ready to paint. So with this painting, I'm just gonna be using some craft brushes I kind of like the craft brushes because they are a little, the bristles are a little firmer and um, I just like using them to paint. So I'm going to be using some craft brushes with which I got from Michaels and from Target. So you can easily purchase these inexpensive craft brushes. I'm also going to um, be using just a regular jar for some water and also a washcloth to wipe my brushes off and to wipe the excess paint. So I'm just going to show you how I paint this hummingbird. For some reason I just wanted decided to paint some birds. I um, The weather is getting warmer and I decided I wanted to take some time to paint some birds. So I hope you enjoy this painting and I hope it inspires you to um, try out some gouache and um, like I said, the tips that I have would be if you wanted to keep painting with gouache is to get one of these little containers or this gouache palette that will keep your paints um, so they don't dry out. So I hope you enjoy this painting. So I've already sketched out my hummingbird and here's my gouache. It's a mix of Royal and Langer nickel gouache and also Windsor and Newton gouache. So this is the resealable palette that I was talking about earlier and it just snaps on all four sides which makes it um, very airtight so it keeps the paints dry. So I'm going to be using this little um, white palette to mix my colors. So I just have a regular 2B pencil and some craft brushes and this um, Arch, Arches watercolor paper 7x10 hot press paper. So it's a very smooth paper. So um, I'm just going to be using some regular craft brushes, which makes it easier to paint. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to mix these colors. <laughs> 